Anyone who has played Minecraft long enough has probably seen another player wearing a cape at some point. In the early days of the game, especially the Java edition, it was considered a rare distinction to have one, as they easily set you apart from other players. It got to the point where capes were being sold on eBay for hundreds of dollars each. To give you an idea of how rare they are, out of at least 30 million Minecraft accounts in the Java edition, 40,000 of them have capes, with the most common being the ones given out for attending Minecon. But if we exclude the Minecon capes, this number drops to just 2,000 accounts having a cape. And out of these 2,000, only 8 of them have personalized one-of-a-kind capes, the rarest in the entire game. How? Out of 30 million people, how were these eight individuals capable of obtaining a cape that nobody else had? Each one has a unique story behind it, ranging from hard work, to pure luck, to downright bizarre. This is the history of Minecraft's rarest capes. Without further ado, let's get started. Notch, the creator of Minecraft, was well known for taking player suggestions and adding them into the game in the early days. He would often ask his fans for ideas and if he liked one, he considered adding it into Minecraft. A player named McClee suggested to Notch the idea of Pigmen, humanoid versions of the default Minecraft pig. Notch liked the idea so much that he created a special one-of-a-kind cape for McClee, the Bacon Cape. After many others in the Minecraft community saw that McClee had been given a personalized cape, they began begging Notch for a special cape of their own. It became a problem with players responding to many of Notch's tweets asking for capes, even if the tweet was unrelated to Minecraft. Realizing that the begging from the fans would be non-stop, Notch decided to take away the bacon cape not long after it was given, in order to get the fans to stop asking. This means that McClee is the only person in today's list to have their personalized cape taken away from them. Despite Notch doing this, it wouldn't take long for him to change his mind and give a cape to others. In early 2011, Minecraft was approaching 1 million total game sales. To celebrate this milestone, Minecraft developer Jeb asked Notch for permission to make a special cape for whoever was the lucky buyer of the one millionth copy of the game. Notch approved of the idea and gave Jeb permission to design the cape. On January 12, 2011, Minecraft user Akronman1 managed to purchase the millionth copy and received a personalized email congratulating him for his lucky achievement. In-game, the cape has a gold star on it with a royal purple background. He still has it to this day, despite having multiple people offer him upwards of thousands of dollars for his Minecraft account. To this day, it is considered one of the most valuable accounts in Minecraft history. Danny B. Style, also known as Danny Baranowski in real life, is a video game music composer that's worked on many titles throughout his career. Back in 2011, since Notch was a fan of his work, he gave him his own personalized cape. After a few years, Danny stopped playing Minecraft as much, and normally, that's where the explanation ends. But Danny B. Style is one of the few people on this list to have his account hacked into. A hacker took control of his account in 2015 thanks to a database leak, and a Minecraft player named Trey Dude purchased the account for $300 cash. After realizing that the account was going to be rightfully taken away from him by Mojang, he changed the account's name to Trey is God in order to leave a mark on the account. While Danny has control of the account these days, and still has his cape, it was an interesting turn of events for the composer, and his cape. The story behind this cape is easily the most bizarre in today's video. Minecraft has a title screen splash that changes every time you load up the game. These phrases would range from funny to bizarre. Well, one of these splashes said the phrase, Bring me Ray Cox. Ray Cox is a European television personality that used to host a show called MTV's Most Wanted back in the mid-90s. Notch was a big fan of this show growing up and claims that Ray Cox's personality helped shape his own sense of humor. Notch put in the phrase, Bring me Ray Cox" as a joke. 
but to a Minecraft player named Julian Clark. This was not a joke. Julian was actually the real-life godson of Ray Cox, and after seeing the title splash with his name, contacted his godfather immediately. Ray got a big kick out of being included in Minecraft somehow, and agreed to pose in a photo with Julian. Julian posted the ransom photo to the Minecraft subreddit, telling Notch that he had kidnapped Ray Cox, and that he would hand him over to Notch in exchange for a personalized cape in Minecraft. Notch found the entire incident hilarious, and decided to give Julian a cape. The cape was olive green with a picture of a snowman on the back. When asked why it had a snowman on it, Notch literally confirmed that it was a... Well... Yeah. Billionaire humor, everybody. I just want to say, if you are enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. Many of you watching haven't actually hit that button yet, but no pressure. No pressure. Let's continue. In September of 2013, the Mojang team was in Tokyo for Minecraft-related business, and a Minecrafter named Cheapshot was of great assistance to them during this trip. Upon logging into Minecraft about a week later, he noticed that he had been given a translator cape. Now, normally, Minecraft gives these capes out to people who did translations for Minecraft, as there are 96 of these capes in existence. But upon closer inspection, he found that the cape had a Japanese flag hidden underneath it. No other translator cape had this, making his cape one of a kind. Talk about the ultimate souvenir. Some similar capes were given out a few years later to Chinese translators, and while they aren't one of a kind, I wanted to at least mention them since there's only three of them, which is still incredibly rare. On June 4th, 2015, Pow Up, Craft Lawrence, and SJJ helped out greatly with the Chinese Minecraft translations. There's been a huge push for Minecraft to be successful in China, so the Minecraft team appreciated all of their hard work. The capes were similar to Cheap Shot's cape, but with a Chinese flag on the reverse instead of a Japanese one. Just goes to show you that when it comes to capes, hard work can certainly pay off, just like it did for the next player on our list. Longtime Java Edition Minecraft players might recognize the name Mr. Messiah, he was responsible for creating the better lighting mod back as early as 2010. In 2011, Mojang wanted to include his mod in the base version of Minecraft. So after meeting with him, they told him that they wanted to thank him by giving him a personalized cape. Well, for unknown reasons, it took Mojang four years to actually add the cape to his account. Meaning out of all the people on today's list, he had to wait the longest for his. Messiah would confirm in a Reddit message the reason for him having a cape. While the designer is unknown, he believed that it was Jeb. Drolkis is best known as a Minecraft modder who has worked on several projects such as the Chisel mod and Twilight Forest. Well, one week in 2016 while working on his Chisel mod, he tried recreating the default prismarine texture from scratch. He didn't like using Mojang's textures and didn't want to for licensing reasons. Jeb saw his project on Twitter and decided to gift him a special Prismarine cape for his efforts. It turns out that Jeb had already created the cape previously, but didn't have an owner for it. It just so happened that Drolkis was the right man in the right place at the right time, and he has the only Prismarine cape in the game. If you've ever visited the cursed lands known as the Minecraft subreddit, you've probably seen at least one message by user Billy K. Back in 2015, he posted a suggestion that boats should be replaced by turtles and that their shells could be used as helmets if they were killed, which gained some traction on the subreddit. But ever since that post, he would constantly talk about his love for turtles to the point where it actually became a meme. When turtles finally were added to Minecraft during the update Aquatic, Billy was surprised to find out that not only was his turtle shell helmet idea actually added, but a turtle cape had been given to him by Jeb out of the blue. Just goes to show you that if you ask about something long enough, you just might receive. But with capes potentially becoming a microtransaction in Minecraft's future, the days of rare capes are likely over, but it's always a pleasant surprise to see someone wearing a legitimate one in the Java edition. These eight players all wore a piece of Minecraft history on their backs. Who knew that digital rectangles would have this much lore behind them? 
But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on when new content is coming out. Well, that's it for today's video, everyone. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.